A group under the umbrella of Lawyers for Reform Group has called for the dismissal of the group managing director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited, Mele Kayari. Rising from a press briefing in Lagos, the convener of the group, Are Olado Tun Hassan, who said they are relying on the strength of the statement and chairman of the Tax Reform Committee, Taiwo Oyedele, argues that the NMPCL boss has deceived Nigerians, hence should be summarily dismissed. A petition against the mindless, unpatriotic, humongously wicked, extravagantly corrupt activities of Mr. Melekiari, Chief Executive Officer of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, a strong call for his immediate sack, arrest, prosecution, and forensic audit of the fuel subsidy regime under him. It is very sad that Melek Yari deceived the entire over 200 million Nigerians, misguided, misled us to the slaughter slab of monumental agony, and destroyed the economic fabric survival base of Nigeria. A repeat of Melek Yari chameleonic deceit is in the oven, capable of wrecking the administration of President Bola Ahmed Tunumbu into abyss, if not urgently checked and sanctioned accordingly. We rely on the statement credited to President Bola Ahmed Tunumbu's newly appointed Mr. Taiwo Oyedele, the Chairman Tax Reform Committee, that the federal government has lost over 10 trillion naira into refineries turned around maintainers without any meaningful achievement under Melekiari. Everything about NMPCCL under Melekiari is opaque and shrouded in secrecy of deceit. Ari Hassan further exposed the alleged rot in NMPCL. In 2019, the Auditor Report of Financial Books of the NMPC, it shows that NMPC upstream arm and, N and NAPIMS said they transferred the sum of 1.27 trillion to the Federation account. But an Auditor Report from the Office of the, Attorney of the Auditor General Federation, signed by Agu Adolphus, says that it is only 608.71 billion that was remitted by NMPC into the Federation account. Therefore, we are saying that the GCO Mele Kiari must remit the outstanding balance of 663,889 billion back to the Federation account. The Federation Account Allocation Committee, FAC, said the GCO NMPC Limited Mele Kiari deducted the sum of 2.1 trillion from the monthly revenue and refused to remit I refuse to remove the money back to the Federation account. Therefore, we are saying that enough is enough for Mele Kiari and he must go and face pro. Nigeria record 16 trillion oil sales, 16 trillion naira oil sales in the year 2022. But NFPC remit zero cover to the Federation account, according to the CBN. Nigeria record shows that 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 crude oil sales between January and September, according to the newly released government data, weeks after the Central Bank of Nigeria said that state oil company which, with NFPC yet to make any remittance into the Federation account through the Apex Bank as quoted by the CBN. In the same year, data gathered from the National Bureau of Statistics show Nigeria earned 5.6 trillion in the first quarter from the sales of crude oil, 5.9 in the second quarter, 4.6 trillion in the third quarter, and upon sales of crude oil amount, the volume of 16 trillion. Regrettably, the, the GCO NMPC Melekiari and the management remit zero cover to the Federation account. We are very concerned that if these resources, as huge as we have mentioned, these resources can manage the whole of African Union. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.